Good morning, Goose. Howdy folks and welcome back to Goose Unlimited. Today we are going to take care of part two of the LR308 build. We're going to be swapping out some parts from the different lower receivers that I've got. One of the things that I am going to do that I didn't originally plan on doing is we're going to pretty much completely strip this lower because it's the lower that we want to use but there is some corrosion on a few of the steel parts. Also the last product that was used to preserve this lower is pretty sticky. Uh, now it's sticky, it wasn't originally sticky. Um, so it's almost like it's got Cosmoline on it so it's gonna need a good scrub. So we're gonna completely disassemble this as well as the other one, take all the good parts that I want to build the lower receiver that I want. All right, so to begin we're going to start with the stock and buffer system then move on to the grip and other parts to get it off the stock i've already checked this lower receiver the castle nut is not staked so it should be pretty easy to get it off From there, push down the retaining detent, remove the buffer and spring. Oh, that's gross. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just kind of grimy in there. Next thing that we need is a 3 16 Allen key. As you relieve the pressure from the grip screw, you want to watch those two springs and detents. One, the front is the spring and detent for the safety lever. The other one is the spring and detent for the takedown pin. There goes the detent for the safety. And that detent might be a little stuck. So we'll have to get that out here in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do to try to get this detent out is use the smallest outer wrench I have in my set. Just push it down. It did not come out that way, so I might have to grab a wire. You can see that's still in there. Actually, there we go. Let's force it out that way. So there goes the other detent there. From there, I'm going to remove the magazine release. Push it in as far as you can, then simply rotate counterclockwise. how cruddy that was. That's pretty gross. So next we're going to get the hammer and trigger spring out. 
I apply a little bit of pressure on the hammer. Push straight through. I've got the trigger out. Now for the hammer pin. And all these small parts we're going to clean up really well and use on the other lower. Alright, so now we're going to remove the bolt catch using a 564 punch and hammer. Now this lower receiver is ready to be completely degreased and cleaned up. Now for this lower receiver, the biggest difference in taking it completely apart is the stock system. This is the Luth AR stock. It is a full-sized rifle stock. It doesn't have a carbine buffer. And then the trigger itself will actually be different because that's a Timney. Uh, to start, we do the same thing as we did before. Remove the buffer. You can see that that buffer is completely different than the previous one. Buffer. I'm going to start out 564 hex key. It's good enough to where we can access this flathead screw that slides off just like that so to do the buffer tube I tried my original armor's wrench there's a lot of play there. I had to go to an adjustable wrench. To break that loose. You want to remember that your buffer detent or retaining detent and spring right there. And there those will go. All right, for the Timmy trigger, you need a 1 16th hex key to loosen the tension screws there. They don't need to come all the way out. Push out the pins. And the whole system can come up. And then your safety can come out as well. There's a Timmy trigger. Then everything else is absolutely the same as the other one. See you later, Goose.